My hamster has been living rent free for way too long and I cannot tolerate that no more. Well, he's an idol now, so he's gonna start pulling his weight. So we're gonna combine the wheel and a computer in the super death machine. Hamster. But first, we gotta get rid of the projects. I know I'm never gonna finish. So why even bother with writing them over and over again? And every single day thinking of the projects I will never finish. Alright, so we have a wheel and a computer. But how will the wheel and the computer talk to each other? Well, we are going to attach a magnet to the wheel and a read switch to the computer. So they can all talk to each other. The plan is finished now and the only thing that is left for us to do is to finish this bloody project. So first acquire magnet. Magnet acquired. File that bitch down so it's easily attachable to the wheel. Next. Grab a hamster wheel without a hamster. Wait, am I really out of super glue? Ugh. Time to get new glue then. <laughs> Alright, here we have the glue and the wheel. And also the magnet. Can't forget that. And now make sure I don't put myself into the mix and combine. Alright, put the hamster wheel back. Is that really a different wheel? Let's compare the sizes and environment. They do not match. Now, just a teeny weeny hard weeny part. This is the read switch I ordered online and we are gonna need to connect it to the little raspberry. And now cue the build montage. Ta-da! And it's done. Wait. Wait a minute, this kind of looks like a b All right, all right, for realsies now. So let's just take the read switch, connect it to the two wires and we are done. Yep, that's it. It's just two wires hanging. All right, so I just changed it up a bit, wrote some quick ass code in Python and it just works. I have also added a coroutine so the counter is saved and restarted every minute and it's done. It just saves the data in the CSV file and that's it. So yeah, that was really it. All right, so here we are and we are going to, I guess, just tape it to the sides. Uh, so this is his cage, as you can see, really nice, really beautiful. Okay, and here we have the tape, finally. Okay, so I'm just gonna tape this up, like so, yep, and the other side, alright. Get the tape and let's just get it in there. Just yeah, oh, it's magnetic as you can imagine. And just tape it here. Oh, shoot. Oh, never mind. Um, let's hope it will hold, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It it kind of works. <laughs> this is true. This is just so shit. God damn it. Okay. Never mind. It works. Yay. All right. Let's let's take a look. Um. Okay. Um. Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think I think I fucked it up. Yep. It doesn't work. Okay. <sighs> Change of plans. Um we just gotta make it work somehow. Because I guess it didn't register now, so yeah, it it's wonky, so yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, who am I kidding? That shit would never work. But hey, you can at least look how <laughs> 
how cute he is when he's running. Isn't he amazing? Oh, 3D printing it is then. Bada bing, bada boom, magic. Yeah, it's done. So yeah, it was just left for me to build it all together by the two wires and we are done. It looks kind of pretty, doesn't it? It's all sturdy now and it clips to the side of the box and it even does look kind of cool. So yeah, this is the finished product and I am happy to announce that it really actually works. I am surprised myself that I even got this far into the project, so yeah. To my knowledge, it's like super accurate. So only thing remains is the data. Alright, so here it is. Here, as you can see, is all the data from three nights. And it's from 10 in the evening and it goes all the way to 6. Alright, so here are the graphs for the ones who really like the graphs. And yeah, here are the progressions of running. He really likes to run a lot and then he <laughs> needs to rest because he's tired. He's really tired. So yeah, here is the progression of the three nights. As you can see, near the end he has a long pause. As you can see, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now the big question is how much has he actually run and we, we, can, we can see here yep all right so all the three nights first second and third the most he has run in a night is 3.72 kilometers so in the three nights he ran 8.7 kilometers which is insane in my books so yeah but now, now the question everyone asks, of course, is what's his top speed, right? All right, let's take a look. His top speed is 3.61 kilometers per hour, which is just insane when you think about it. it it's just insane. I mean, look at those little legs. It's, it's just mind-blowing, right? All right, so yeah, this is it. Okay, bye.